God bless you, everybody. Um, I guess I'm really on a roll today. I'm banging out two, <laughs> two videos, but um, I feel like um, there's an urgency to get this out. So, I I had a dream. Sometimes I feel led to tell the dream. Sometimes I don't. But um, I, I just had a dream, and and it, like, I don't know. God is just doing something a little bit different. Usually, I have to really. You know, I had to go into prayer and get the interpretation for um, the dreams, but he just kind of like just told me what the dream meant. So I'm not going to go into the dream, but I'm just going to um, give you the wisdom out of it. Basically, I don't know what's going on or the reasons why, but things are really ramped up when it comes to uh, giving. What God is showing me is that, you know, you're always going to be blessed for giving, but there's something that's just heightened, heightened in the spirit where um, giving is really going to take off. Like you, not that you're giving to get back, but that's literally what's going to happen. Like you're going to give and it's, it's, it's going to you're going to reap a reward from that, from that giving. And, um, it's kind of hard to tell people to give because then you don't want people to go out and give just for the sake, Oh, I'm going to get something back from it. You want it. It has to come from a pure heart or it's not going to work. So it's kind of like a catch 22. I don't know what else to say. Maybe, maybe just to say, ask, the Lord to give you a giving heart, you know, and if you already got a giving heart, then the message to you is to get off your butt and actually go and give however it is that you give. Cause sometimes you could, you could be a giver and this is what it is. Cause I feel the spirit. This is what it is. Sometimes you can be a giver, but because you're so busy running around, da, 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 you just, you had it in your heart to give, but you just didn't do it for whatever reason. You know, I don't know. You, the baby was crying. You had to wash the dishes. I, I don't know. Whatever it is, you had it in your heart to give. You were going to go down to the soup kitchen or you're going to give your time or whatever. Things came come up and you just don't do it. But I'm just here to let you know that if you have a giving heart, that you really, this is the time to really to, to do it. I don't, I don't know why, I don't know how, I don't know if there's angels ready to, you know what I mean, to give it back to you a hundredfold. I don't know what it is, but I know that this is a season where it's really going to pop off if you, um, if you are a giver. So if you are a giver, keep on giving. This ain't the time to stop. <laughs> this is not the time to stop. Okay. So, um, yeah, God is really going to be blessing that that giving, but it's not like, oh, well, I gave I guess you know, what I gave a couple of months ago doesn't count. That's not I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that there is some there is there are times and seasons where things or certain things are just heightened for whatever reason. You know, for whatever reason, it's just it's almost like you know how um, there are are uh, portals. Like you can open up portals uh, in your house because of all the praise and worship, or how there's just certain areas on the earth where which are literally like a Jacob's ladder where angels will come up and down, and it's just like a lot. You get a lot of activity in certain places it is the same way with time there are certain times that are like a portal in time like i it's so hard to explain it it's almost like you got to be a physicist or something but I, I hope i'm making sense but it's like there are certain certain dates or certain times where God will open up uh, open up an a, a area for it to flourish 
more than others. It's like a certain principle, like a, a principle which is um, uh, like, like what we're talking about, a principle about giving, a principle about giving where that is a principle, a law on the earth, a spiritual law that works 24-7. But yet there are certain times where God will make it special, extra special. And I'm sorry I'm not as articulate and I really can't get the words out the way that I want to say it. I'm trying to say it. Holy Spirit, help me. I'm trying to say it the way that um, the way that it, that God has put it in my heart. But I seem like I can't find the words. But there is a opening in time which is right now, there is an opening in time where if you give, it's going to be ramped up. The 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 uh, rewards will be ramped up. But again, like I said, you ain't giving to get anyway. <laughs> I just, but if you're giving, this if you're the type of person with a giving heart, this is the time. And if you don't have a giving heart, you need to be asking the Lord, you know, you know, just give me a giving heart you know whatever but it's 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 a fun thing that just it's a fun it's fun to give and it could be in any capacity or any way that you know how to do it you know maybe you you're at um the grocery store and yes you, you gotta stay six feet apart but you know maybe you could somehow indicate that you're gonna pay for that person's groceries if you got it to give you know whatever you know it, it is it, it's just one idea you can there's so many different ways to give so um yeah so things are ramped up in the spirit in terms of giving and that principle of giving where you where um you know you cannot outgive god so if you give in to the poor or whatever however it is that you give then it's like giving to god and god doesn't like to be uh, outdone and um, he's always going to give you more than what you put out and so but for whatever reason I don't know what the, I don't know why or what the ground is fertile or something I don't know but God whatever you put in whatever seed you put in is going to come back there's like you know the hundredfold blessing type thing I don't know what it is there's something going on in the spirit and um, I don't have too much information about it. I just know I had a dream, <clears throat> and the interpretation was like, "This is the time. Like, if you going, if you was ever gonna give, this is the time to do it in." So, um, so the other thing is, um, it's kind of related, but what the Lord want me to say is that. Um, unequal un unequal weights and measures is one of the things that he cannot stand and um what he's bringing to my remembrance is that we need to have integrity when it comes to our, our uh when it comes to dealing with money you know when it comes to dealing with money so um i learned very early on as a kid i got uh convicted multiple times as a kid you know, and I didn't come to the Lord until, I don't know, as a young adult. But um, there was things that I did, you know, like I'm going to give you an example. Somebody dropped uh, some money out of their pocket. And y'all better not judge me, okay? Because <laughs> God forgive me. That's all that matter. But somebody had, I was standing in a line and somebody dropped some money out of their pocket. I would, I went and put my foot over the money. So that nobody, so nobody could see. And then when the man left, I picked up the money and then I had, you know, I had the money. Well, I was thinking I was going to be happy. I was convicted about that. Even at a very young age, I was convicted about it. And I, and I knew of the Lord, but I didn't know the Lord. But I was convicted of that at a very, because God gives us all conscience anyway. I was convicted of that at a very young age. And, um... It's like if you knew who the, I, if if I walked up on the money and the money was just laying there and I didn't know who it belonged to, by all means, yes, that you know, well, thank the Lord, it's a blessing. You just put it in your pocket and keep it moving. But I knew 
who that money belonged to. That's the problem. So, and I'll just give you that little, that little story, but it goes further than that. Um, it's like what, what, what I'm seeing is, is that there, there may be people in situations in higher situations than a little girl in a grocery store and pocketing a few dollars. Not to say that it's any less, um, sinful, but there may be situation on, situations on a grander scale where you may be working somewhere where you know that the people are being swindled out of money, whether it be, you know, bank fees or um, mortgage types of, of lending or things where uh, uh, automobile contracts where they put extra fees in there that is just made up stuff and it's just unequal weights and measures and 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 even you know even in the 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 job sector where you know oh if you if you're a certain if you run in a certain class you you're not gonna get paid as much or whatever it is that they're you know that is unequal this is not the time to be a part of that type of um that, that type of shenanigans for lack of a better word that's this is not the time god is it's never the time but for whatever it is that i'm seeing it's like the smackdown is about to come down so you you have to, to hold yourself with integrity even if you're working at that job and you're like well i'm just doing my job i still gotta get paid like you know what am i going to do this is god is saying you better turn to him and seek him about what to do in the situation you might have to be the whistleblower you might have to be the person that okay well maybe i ain't blowing the whistle because the powers that be seem so you know whatever it seems so entangled up into everything but i i can't work here anymore i you know what i mean like i i just can't i can't work here anymore i i, I have to leave the job or whatever it is i don't know but something like that you definitely gonna have to speak to the lord about but i'm just telling you what i'm seeing i'm just telling you what i'm seeing this is not the time to be a part of any unequal weights or measures god has his eye on it and he he sees it so he always seen it but for whatever reason it's like it's uh it's it's uh i don't know there's a sense of urgency about it so but also on a lower level just like what i was talking about like you know me taking the money or whatever from seeing and i saw it come out the man pocket um on a lower level god is saying to to hold yourself with integrity when it comes to money i don't know um you know maybe you're at the store and the person gives you um, more money back than what they supposed to don't be like well I wouldn't you know because people are like this you know they make you feel bad for doing the right thing people have said to me well I wouldn't have gave her the money back because you know whatever it's not like she gonna get in trouble it's not like you know it's what difference does it make I wouldn't you know you're dumb why would you do that because I have a God in heaven who is 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 it, it sees everything that I that I do and I have to ask myself would that be pleasing unto God for me to do that would that be pleasing unto God oh it doesn't make a difference it's only a few dollars look it's not about the few dollars it's not about the few dollars and some people are just like oh you know well that's a blessing God is you know God is blessing me because she made a mistake and gave me extra money I don't really believe in I don't really believe in all that. What I believe is that sometimes these things happen because it's a test to see what you're going to do. And if you pass the test, there are uh bless uh higher blessings that you can get rather than a couple of few dollars anyway. So, it is about to see what's in your heart. Sometimes this is why these tests come is to see what's in your heart. You know, I had a friend of mine who said um, the Lord was telling her to give five hundred dollars, 
And she was like, I don't know if I want to do it. I was like, well, you sure it's the Lord? She's like, yes, it's the Lord. Well, I'm like, well, then there ain't no question about it. You have to give the $500. I said, God, do you think God cares about the $500? God doesn't care about the $500. What he cares about is will you obey him? He, he What he cares about is the integrity of your heart. So when he's telling you to give or do something, it's not because he needs the money. He don't need your money. It's not that he needs the money. It's that he wants to show you what's in your heart. He wants to show you. Because people are like, I'll sacrifice this. I'll give my all to God. And God be like, put $10 in the pot. And you be like, I, well, I don't know about all that. You know? So... You know, it, it's 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 also about obedience, but it's it's obedience and it's integrity in this season, giving and and uh, obedience and uh, integrity of your heart. This is what God is is highlighting um, in this season, and this is what and I, and it's not a seasonal thing, but I have for lack of a better word, it's it's it's. It's just heightened for whatever reason. This is what God is showing me. It's just heightened. We're always supposed to carry ourselves when it, with integrity and um, giving and being obedient. But for whatever reason, it is very heightened. And um, if you're into something right now and you're just like, well, I'm just a lowly peon in the company. What can I do? That That's not an excuse. It's not an excuse. And if you're somebody that's high up in the company, that's that's even that, you know, there's even more of an accountability there. So and I know this is this is a hard word for somebody, and I know for a lot of folks it doesn't apply, but um, you know, maybe it maybe it does, and maybe there's that one person out there that that hears this and and um, conducts themselves accordingly. I um, mean, at the least, go to God and ask and ask him, how do I get out of this thing? What do I do? OK, so. All right, guys, well, that's it. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry it's not a happy, happy, joy, joy message, but uh, um, it is what it is. All right. Well, God bless you. I love you. Bye.